people bake with poppy seeds and they put poppy pods in flower arrangements, but few of us realize that growing or possessing a certain kind of poppy may actually get you in trouble with the law. CBS 2 investigator Dave Savini talked to a local man who found out the hard way. Jim and Kate, the laws surrounding poppy seed plants are confusing. Are they legal or not? Meet a young man who nearly went to prison for 50 years over the sale of them. Yeah, block. Will Coikes is getting ready for his first professional fight. The grueling schedule had the West Chicago man relying on natural herbs and supplements for energy. Totally legal. Totally legal. He says he started a website to sell all kinds of legal herbs to other boxers and then one day he got an unusual request. I got uh, an email asking for poppy pods. Poppy pods are the bulb part at the top of a poppy plant stalk. He found another website selling them in dried form and filled the order. It was just a dried plant. He knew seeds from poppy plants were used in baking and sold on buns and bagels, but what he says he didn't know was that the Federal Drug Enforcement Administration actually has poppy plants on its list of controlled substances, and the person who asked for the pods was working for police. So you bought poppy pods online and almost ended up spending 50 years in prison for it? Yep. It was just just a scary, overwhelming feeling that you cannot describe. He told me, oh no, he's, he was being, he's being arrested for poppy pots. I never heard of poppy pots being illegal. You were afraid he was gonna spend the rest of his life in prison. Yes, yes. His father couldn't understand what was illegal or how anyone could be arrested for selling dried pods from a plant that he and his son both thought could be grown in gardens. Not a drug dealer, no. not a criminal. No. There are numerous varieties of poppy plants, and while law enforcement officials say the seeds are completely legal, one plant in particular, the Popovere somniferum, is illegal because heroin is made from it. The pods and stalks have higher levels of codeine and morphine than all other poppy plants. I want to warn families you know, kids, stay away from it, don't touch it. The opium comes from liquid extracted from the pods, but that's from fresh plants, not dried pods like the ones he ordered. Did you think that you were doing anything wrong? I still don't think I was doing anything wrong. Ultimately, the DuPage State's attorney offered him a deal, giving him probation if he pleaded guilty to a lesser felony. We had to take the deal. I could not, I didn't care about the felony. All I knew was that my son was going to be home with me. Coix's 50-year sentence is reduced to two years probation because of his plea bargain. DuPage authorities confirm his is the only poppy pod case they've handled in decades. The DEA confirms that if you are growing this kind of poppy, the Popovera somniferin, you are breaking the law unless you have a research exemption. So then, Dave, what happens if you have a poppy plant in your garden? Police probably aren't going to go and break into your yard, but you have to be aware it is against the law. Probably why they gave him probation, but he has a felony for the rest of his life. Wow. All right. Thank you, Dave.